This next slide deck is to be used to review for your Unit 1 Five Themes of Geography test that's going to take place next week. So go through your notes and fill in the spaces from these slides and from what I'm saying, and you should be fine. So first of all, what is geography? It is the study of the Earth's features, the study of people, places, and the environment, the study of people, their environments, and their resources. So breaking this down into like smaller pieces, you see that geography is the study of people, their environments, and their resources. And you can analyze that further with people, environment, and resources. And what that actually means, broken down further, is people, kind of a common group of persons united by a common cultural tradition, and usually a language. And your environment could be two things. It could be either the um, air, water, minerals, organisms, and all other external factors surrounding a given organism at any time. It can also be the social and cultural forces that shape the life of a person or a population. And resources, broken down in two ways, are both the natural wealth of a country consisting of land, forests, mineral deposits, water, etc., as well as resources are a source of support that can be readily drawn upon when needed. So, ideas or topics. When we look at continents, and this is in your notes here, there are seven continents or land masses in the world. You have North America, you have South America, Africa, Middle East, Asia, Europe, Australia, and Oceania. And then the four oceans in the world are, we know them, Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, and Arctic, and the Southern Ocean as well. But one, two, three, four are the biggies. Parts of a map. Often located at the top of the map or sometimes in a separate box to the side or bottom, the title gives important information about the map, such as what area the map is showing, when the map was created, or what themes the map represents. Legends or keys help explain what symbols and colors represent on the map. Most maps have symbols. Symbols show the location of natural objects such as landforms and man-made objects such as cities, roads, bridges, and buildings. However, symbols can represent anything of importance on a map. The compass rose. A map typically includes a compass rose. A compass rose shows the cardinal directions of north, south, east, and west. Sometimes a compass rose will also include the intermediate directions of northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. Because a map is smaller, it's a smaller representation of a much larger area, cartographers include scale. Scale are measurements that compare real distances to the distances on a much smaller map. For example, one inch could represent 100 miles of real life distance. Geographer decides, a geographer will decide what scale to use by determining how much detail is needed on the map. Large scale, more details, small scale, less detail. Since scale uses numerical fractions or ratios, they are understood in any language. On this map, for example, you could see an inch equals about 500 miles. Longitudinal lines. Longitude lines. Imaginary lines drawn on maps as reference points run north and south. Prime meridian is at zero degrees longitude, and the prime meridian runs from North and South Pole, and it runs right through England, Greenwich, England. Latitude lines. Imaginary lines drawn on maps as reference points run east and west. 
equator is at zero degrees latitude. Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn are lines of latitude. Hemisphere, referred to as a half in the globe, there are four hemispheres, the Western Hemisphere, the Eastern Hemisphere, the Northern Hemisphere, and the Southern Hemisphere. Physical maps. Physical maps show landforms and bodies of water in a specific area. You can learn relative location and characteristics of places in a region. Color or contour lines are used to show elevations or altitudes. Political maps. Most students are familiar and comfortable reading this type of map. It shows a feature and boundaries that humans have created on the Earth's surface. Political maps may be of cities, states, provinces, territories, and counties. Disputes over boundaries occur even in the United States. The five themes. What are the, what are the purposes of the five themes of geography? The five themes of geography help organize information about Earth and its people. The five themes of geography. Movement, region, human environment, interaction, location, place, location, position on the Earth's surface. It's absolute location is a latitude and longitude, global location or street address for a local location. Um, part of France is 48 degrees north latitude and two degrees east longitude. The White House is located at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Relative location, described by landmarks, time, direction, or distance from one place to another. Go one mile west on Main Street and turn left for one block. This is a good example of relative location. Place, what is it like there? What kind of place is it? Physical and human characteristics. Places or place have physical and human characteristics that make them what they are. Geogra geography emphasizes the understanding of both of these factors and their integration together. Human characteristics. What are the main language, languages, customs, and beliefs? How many people live, work, and visit a place? Physical characteristics. Landforms, mountains, rivers, etc., climate, vegetation, wildlife, soil, etc. These are physical characteristics. Human environment interaction. How do humans in the environment affect each other? Sharing the lands shaping the landscape. The landscape of the earth is no longer a purely physical feature. Human have humans have impacted every area of the earth, but in varying ways. The geography of places is influenced by the degree to which humans have impacted their local environment. We depend on it because people depend on the Cape Fear River for water and transportation. We modify it. People modify our environments by heating and cooling buildings for comfort. We adapt to it. We adapt to the environment by wearing clothing suitable for summer, like shorts and winter coats and rain and shine. Movement. How are people, goods, ideas moved from place to place? Human movement, trucks, trains, and planes, information movement, phones, computer, email, mail, idea movement. How do fads move from place to place? TV, radio, magazines, the internet. Regions. How are regions similar to and different from other places? Region is any unit of space that is unified by the presence of some characteristic, meaning places share things in common. Formal regions are regions defined by government or administrative boundaries like states or counties or countries or cities. Um, regions defined by smaller characteristics, Corn Belt, Rocky Mountain region, Chinatown. Functional regions are regions defined by a function like newspaper service area, cell phone coverage area. 
or vernacular reasons, reasons defined by people's perceptions like the Middle East or the South, etc. Remembering the five themes. If you can't remember what they are, just ask Mr. Help. Movement, M. Regions, R. H-E, human environment interaction. Location, L. Place, for P, Mr. Help. Now the five themes of geography, Mr. Help. Movement, region, human environmental interaction, location, and place.